So now let's take a moment and put everything together that we've learned about both our magmas and our lavas. Remember, we're going to divide them up into our different groups, whether there is high silica and oxygen or high iron and magnesium. So let's start with our felsic. Our felsic intrusive rock and our felsic intrusive magma is called granite. Now, remember, because it cools slowly, because it's on the inside of the earth, is it going to have phaneritic or aphanatic texture? Hopefully you said phaneritic. Right? Phaneritic is coarse grained. Because remember, it's cooling slowly. It allows those crystals to get big. Now, what is granite's extrusive equivalent? That is rhyolite. And because it's on the outside of the earth, does it cool quickly or slowly? Hopefully you said quickly. So that is aphanatic. Right, remember, aphanatic texture is fine-grained. Now remember, what kind of a volcano does our rhyolitic lava come from? Hopefully you said cinder cone. And is this explosive or effusive? It is explosive. Now let's go down to our intermediate. Our intermediate magma, right, when that cools into a rock, that forms a diorite. And is it phaneritic or aphanatic? Hopefully you said phaneritic. And what is diorite's extrusive equivalent? Hopefully you said andesite. And it is aphanatic. Remember what kind of volcano does andesite come from? Hopefully you said strato volcano. And this is still a bit explosive because it has a high enough uh, silica oxygen content. Now, let's talk about our mafic. Our mafic magma, when it cools into a rock, remember we call that gabbro, it's the base of our ophiolite sequence, and it is also phaneritic. Right? Remember, all of our intrusives cool slowly, so they all have phaneritic texture. Now, gabbro's extrusive equivalent, remember that is basalt. Basalt cools quickly, so it has aphanatic texture just like all the rest of our right, extrusives. Remember, basalt comes from a uh, comes from a shield volcano. And remember, this is quite effusive. Right, remember, this actually produces a lava flow. Right? It's not explosive whatsoever. Now, our ultramafic. Remember, our ultramafic intrusive rocks is what we call peridotite. And it is also phaneritic. The extrusive equivalent, remember, we don't get this anymore. The Earth's surface has to be incredibly, incredibly hot. And when I say incredibly hot, I mean about 1,100 degrees Celsius. So the exterior of the Earth actually doesn't get that hot anymore. It did when Earth first formed initially, Right, but it doesn't any longer. But if what we had on the surface was called comadiite, and it would also be aphanatic. So hopefully this served its purpose to tie together both our magmas and our lavas and our different types. So hopefully all of this kind of came together for you for both chapters 6 and 9.